Hello everybody. Uh, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us for this, face this Facebook Live. Today we are here to talk to you about our ECAM engineering program. And my name is Gail. I work for the International Students Admission for this program. And I am here today with three students for the third year. And they will present themselves as well to talk to you about their program and we will answer all your questions after presenting you a bit of campus, uh, the life in Lyon and this program. Okay. So I'm Camille. I'm a third year student in engineering ECAM. I'm from the United States and, I've spe and I'm specializing in mechanics. Okay, my name is Freddy. I come from Cameroon and I'm doing a mechanical engineering uh, specialty. So my name is Bastien. Uh, I lived in China my whole life and I'm also doing the mechanical design uh, specialty. So how it works in the engineering program is that it's divided in two parts, into the bachelor's, bachelor's degree and the master's degree. So during the bachelor's degree is the three first years, and after your master is the two uh, after years, so the fourth and the fifth year. Um, you choose your specialization in your third year, so there is five different specialties. Sina, you can talk about. Yeah, we have the robotics and IT specialty, we have the energy engineering, industrial and supply chain management, mechanical design engineering, and product design. So, uh, we have the mechanical design engineering that is done with uh, Staffordshire University in the UK, uh, product design that is done with the uh, Politecnico di Torino in uh, Italy, and uh, some IT robotics with the uh, university in Thailand and, uh, and others. Because this specialty is what's going to add to your engineer diploma. So you're going to have your engineer, di French engineer diploma at the end, but also you're going to have a double diploma. And this double diploma is with your specialty. And the specialty you're going to do one year abroad, which is your fourth year, and do um, part of this master's abroad. So what's important to uh, know is that um, this ECAM engineering program is part of ECAM Lyon, which is a school that's been created in 1900. So we've been uh, provided engineering classes since more than a century now. And um, we do um, have very strong links with industry. Uh, thanks for being in Lyon for more than 70 years from now. And what's very good for students is that f during all their five years um, program, they will build a very uh, a strong network with professionals through events, through challenges, through a lot of internships. They will have at least three internships uh, during their course with one abroad. So that's very important. And that's allow, um, enable them to find a good job very quickly at the end of their uh, program, even uh, sometimes before some students receive job offer after the internships and even before graduating. Uh, what's important to know as well is that so this program um, allows international students to join us because it's entirely taught in English. We request a B2 level. Uh, so when you decide to apply, you can find the uh, admission uh, platform on our website and you can also directly go to application.ecam.ifer uh, slash EENG <laughs> and then you will find everything about the application process. So how does it work? You will have to uh, first complete your profile, uh, tell us a bit about you, uh, pay some application fee and then uh, once we um, we are sure that you learn about this program, that you know the, the criteria to enter. We will allow you to proceed to the next step, uh, which is giving us everything uh, you have about your, um, let's say, high school uh, grade, um, 11th, 12th grade. You will have to do a cover letter to explain to us why you want to join us. Um, and also tell us about yourself, about your activities, uh, extra, extra scholar activities. And after that, we will invite you to uh, proceed to an online man test and interview. Uh, students here have done this test, so they will talk about, uh, about it to you. Um, we, there is some math questions that are basic, basic knowledge that you should have at the end of high school, uh, just to make sure that you are on in the right path. And also you will have to do an online interview, answer a few questions. So you record the interview. You have to um, make sure you have a good connection, that the, the environment is quiet and you have some time ahead of you to, to record it because you won't have a second chance. And then after that, 
once you have we have everything uh, we need to have a complete application you will be reviewed during our monthly uh, admission board we have a jury held um, held every month starting january for students who are living abroad in some countries where you might need a visa to come study in france i strongly i strongly recommend uh, to uh, to apply the, the earliest the better so you have time then to prepare smoothly your arrival okay so who did the test online i did um, i did the test online mm -hmm. yeah. so what how did it happen what did you think of it how did uh, you manage it for me i wasn't expecting having all of it together but how it works is that you're combining the physics question the math questions and after it goes into the interview and everything is recorded in small fractions so you do the math question and the physics question, and after you start recording, it, it the question pops up asking if you're ready to start the interview. And it's a couple of, for me, I had three questions, but for each question I had to uh, record and unrecord. So it was like three different uh, sequence, but it went pretty fast. So it wasn't that bad. Uh, for me, so I remember also it was pretty quick. I remember more the, not the math part, but mainly the, what I want to do, so how I want to enter the school. And I remember that you had to first, you had the question in front of you, you had to think about the answer. And once you were ready, you could click the start button to record. And once you click it, you have to be sure of your answer because it's when it's going to start recording. And it goes pretty fast, about a minute or so. And once you're done, it's actually finished for that question. And I had four or five questions, I think. But it's pretty quick in general. Mm. Okay, I, uh, I had an interview about my motivation with the, with the teacher from my camp. Uh, after that, I had the, the same questions like you. I had three questions on uh, mathematics and uh, three questions on uh, physics. Same thing, uh, they were MCQ, so you had to do some basic calculations and uh, to, take, uh, to take out the, the, the correct answer. And so. also, there was an English test, if I'm not wrong, to test your level if you have a good enough English level, B2, to enter the curriculum. Yeah, all the questions were in English, so I good think they, they base your English level as the question goes, so if you're able to answer properly at the question with the fluent English. So yes. So yeah, what happened is that first you do the test, and then you have the application uh, review during the admission board. And with your grades, with the video, with the test, uh, we are pretty, confi um, pretty uh, confident that you can join this program. You will, we will offer you admission. And to make sure that you will be able to follow the classes, you will have to pass an English test. Um, unless you already have a certification like a Cambridge test or like TOEIC, TOEFL, uh, if you already have this um, dated less than 18 months, you, would, you won't have to do the, the English test. Um, then, once you've been admitted to ICAM, uh, we are here to help you uh, settle and prepare your arrival. We follow your uh, visa request, for example. We help you finding a housing. We do have residences uh, around the campus that are, that are available for international students. We work with the government agency to be able to offer you different um, kind of room, room with a very low rent uh, to enable you to live in the beautiful city of Lyon. Uh, we will also assist you in um, all the administrative tasks that you will have to do to get the student status and be able to live in Lyon and, and be and be comfortable, comfortable here. Yes. Thank you. And uh, what you must also know is that uh, some of the questions we usually have is that do we provide any kind of scholarship? Do we pro provide any kind of financial help? So when you apply to ICAM Lyon, if you get admission, you will be able uh, to ask uh, for a, a scholarship. We do offer every year a few scholarships for international students. It goes to um, up to uh, 2,000 euros to help you for the first year. So it's only uh, it's a one-time uh, scholarship. So after that, if you want to apply for scholarship, we have different programs. But uh, for the first year and for helping you settle, we can uh, have this kind of program. So this you will have access after you get admission to ICAM Lyon. And also know that Campus France can uh, assist you during your um, any kind of um, administrative task as well and preparing your arrival in France. And they also have kind of scholarship uh, programs, financial helps. And besides, when you became when you become a French student and you have the, the students the, the student status, you get access to an organism called CAF, um, CAF, and uh, you can have some financial help for the housing. 
So maybe you can tell us about your experience, how when you arrived to France, uh, what did you go through? Did you receive any help from ECAM? How did it go? Thank you. Okay, uh, for me, uh, I remember for my arrival in France, when I reached the, the airport, I was picked up by Mrs. Lorena. So she brought me to the residence and uh, the following days I had to go so I had to go through the town to do some administrative um, procedures. So I had to do my CAF uh, online uh, registration. I had to register for some transport facilities and um, I had to integrate the camp. So I had an integration week. I had to visit all the, the promotions, the classes and uh, to have a general idea about the, the campus. So uh, regarding uh, Campus France, since I, since I am an international student, I had to go through uh, Campus France. So um, I had to complete my dossier en ligne. So after my dossier en ligne, my admission was validated. So I had to ask for for a studying visa. So I obtained my one year studying visa. And um, since last year, I renew my residence permit. So that's all. For me, it was quite different than Sima because my family, I have some of my family that lives in France. But uh, I had Lorena first that made uh, gave me a visit of the school before I entered to show me the facility, how the school worked and everything. And that was pretty much it for me, but I had a, a campus visit beforehand. Uh, concerning me, so I visited the campus when I arrived in France. Uh, which was uh, maybe two weeks before the school started. So I'm also French, so I didn't have any administrative problems or issues. But uh, I was presented the campus by Madame Rivoalon, which is uh, somebody who works here. Um, but more or less, it was pretty simple for me. And uh, the residents are nice and it's easy to live there. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, so what's really important is that um, every situation is different for every student. So you really might want to consider um, applying soon uh, to get some time to really receive all the information you need. Uh, after you get admitted, we will plan anyway, a Skype session, um, a, call, a call session, whatever you'd like, to make sure you have all the information needed and to help you studying all this, uh, this process. Uh, we didn't really talk about the campus itself. Uh, so what you have to know is that so we are part of the beautiful city of Lyon. We are located in the heart of the city on the hill um, among a beautiful park. So that's a that's a chance for us. And um, so we welcome more than thousands, uh, uh, hundred, seven hundred students right now in the different programs. And uh, that means that we have a very uh, full student life with a lot of clubs, associations, and uh, events. So maybe you can tell us a bit about your clubs, what you do, what do you think of the, uh, of the students' life uh, at ECAM? Uh, so I'm part of Student Assembly. So the Student Assembly is in charge of uh, organizing and supervising all the different associations and clubs and sport associations that exist on campus. So we organize parties for the school. We usually do one a party a month. When I say party, it's not something really big, but it's just like an event where student can meet with others because we're all in different programs and we don't have classes on the same time or same day. So it's a chance to get and mix up a little bit with all other students in the school. Uh, I'm part of one association, so it's uh, the bar. It's not the most engineering one, but uh, there's a bar on campus, so uh, every once a week I serve there. So it's where you get to meet new people when you come, uh, make friends, interact with others. So it's it's nice when you want to make new meet new people. Uh, it's uh yeah, that's what I do. Can you also meet teachers sometimes. Uh, the teachers they school? they come from time to time less than less now <laughs> than before, but yeah, you can also meet some teachers mm -hmm. over there. All right. Um. So I think we are like twenty five clubs, right? Uh, yes. There's yes. All mechanical. Uh, robotic clubs, Robotics, music, sports, music, sports. eco, eco, ecology, ecology, ecology. Uh, ecological design, 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 fishing, uh, fishing, fishing yeah. Uh, also <laughs> sports. We have, uh, yeah. we have a lot of sports: there's football, sports. rugby, tennis. There's lots of sports in the school, so uh, it's usually after the school hours, after uh, six o'clock. You have uh, sports depending on the day, and it's uh, usually all the sports are. I mean, the facilities are in Lyon, so it's not too far. Training sessions. Yeah. yeah, and you have games in between different schools in the city. So there is different challenging sport-wise, but also um, 
in the clubs. So it's pretty dynamic between our campus and the other campuses I'm in. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's see if we have some questions around here. So if you joined uh, the, the Facebook Live right now, um, we are here to present the ECAM engineering program as well as the, the School of ECAM Lyon. Uh, and this live will be uh, available on replay after. So if you have any question that um, we already answered, you can come back to the, to the live later, to the video. Um, so usually um, what we didn't say and that you, you ask uh, is that how much are the tuition fees? So the first three years uh, cost every year 6,800 uh, euros, 6,800. Right <laughs> for the first three years, and then the last two years it's eight thousand five hundred each year. So pretty much a total of uh, forty thousand euros um, for five years. As we said, uh, you can get some financial help for the, the student uh, housing from the CAF. We offer a few uh, scholarship programs depending on your international situation, and then depending on your uh, grade and your work working merit. Um, when you have a student visa, you can usually work as well a few hours a week uh, and you can have access to some uh, bank loan, stuff, stuff like that. Usually that's why we are asked. Um, and what you have to know as well is when you are in France and you do an internship that lasts more than two months, you receive, you, received, uh, you receive a salary as well when you're doing that. Uh, did we talk about the international uh, experience? Did you say where you were going after? So the students now, they are living during their fourth year from um, doing their double, double degree because uh, what's very important to know is that this ECAM engineering program is a double degree program. So at the end of the five year, you will get the mechanical and electrical engineering degree from ECAM Lyon and a Master of Science of the University where you will go to uh, do your concentration, to study your concentration during your last year. So where are you going next year? Uh, I'm going to Staffordshire for the mechanical engineering um, specialty. Same yeah. for me. Yeah, all through the oh, same. So. Very, very <laughs> do, you, do you already know uh, what classes you will have over there? Uh, not yet. We're not... not yet, but mm -hmm. we have introductory classes. So what that means is that since year one, we had different teachers from the actual school that came and gave us classes for about a week. Pretty intense week, but a week uh, where the teacher introduced us the subject and things that we're going to do on um, when we're actually on campus. So, for example, this week we have... Um, a uh, teacher right. from Stafford here that came and that's doing a course on power plant and energy. So it gives us an introduction of what is going to be our specialty later. All right. And I know some students have been there to visit, I think, the computers. Did you? Uh, yeah, last year. Uh, did you go no, last year? first year. Oh, first year. Yeah, first year. Did you guys go? Or only no. Okay, well, I, went, uh, I went in the first year. So uh, Stafford Shire is a uh, well, in the UK, it's uh, in the middle. I don't know how to describe. So uh, it's a really, really big campus. There's a. It's actually really nice. It's the weather is English, so not the best weather, but um, the campus is actually really big. There's a lot of facilities over there, and lots of clubs also, I think, and uh, it's pretty modern also. What else can I say? Uh, there's a lot of housing uh, on the campus. So you've been you received quite a lot of information yeah. uh, before yeah. planning That's your year over there. Okay, that sounds very exciting. And what helps us a lot is that the fourth year, which is the year ahead of us, is already, well, is over there actually. So we're doing, we're interchanging, knowing how they're doing, what they're doing, and giving us some tips for next year. So that's pretty helpful. Yes. Yeah, you can count on all the students already there. Yes. Yeah. Of exchange. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yes. So. The promotion, the classes at ICAM are quite small, which um, enable students to know, or to know mm -hmm. themselves and be able to create uh, some, uh, yeah, some to bound and to be able to communicate. And so that's that's a very good uh, point for for this for these classes. Um, so we say that it's a very, uh, it's quite an innovative program because um, it's one of the first uh, engineering program entirely taught in English. Uh, in France, uh, it's uh, very innovative in the sense that it's not uh, just classes, just not classes face to face with teacher. We ask students to be very autonomous, to work a lot together. There is team projects. Um, how did you? It's very different from usually high school. 
Uh, how did you feel like during the first months? First, it was in English, but you are used to speak English. Um, what about the the way of working? How did you uh, feel about having less classes and more, you know, having to push yourself and work and by yourself on your free time and stuff like that? Well, I think you need to adapt at first because maybe the first two months are a bit hard because it's a new cycle. First, it's a new way of living because you're by yourself, but it's also a new cycle. You have to work differently. And also you rely a bit more on others because as we said, it's even though you're autonomous, you have to work in groups a lot. And I think it's it helps you actually uh, to get a better understanding and also to, uh, I'd say, work more efficiently. Yeah, and there is and it's in different period. Like we're going to yeah. have a period where we're going to have a lot of project and autonomous works and sometimes it's going to be more like as we can say traditional school teacher and student so uh, i would agree that the first year is pretty tough because it's adapting to um adapting to a new system even though the courses are in english and it's still pretty a uh, traditional system so it's different and sometimes you have some work project that help and We also learn how to search for early information about some projects, so that's pretty uh, pretty good for us. So how to distinguish uh, good information from the bad one, especially on basic projects, and not to do copy-paste. And for example, uh, first year and second year, we have workshops. So how it works is that every uh, two days, every, yeah, the two Twice first day of the yeah. months, Are, um, we pick different workshops that we want to do and we work on the project with the teacher which is specialized in the project with um, different students so not only your promotion but other promotion on a common project so it's interesting to be able to apply what you've learned in school and apply it to a real life project all right thank you um okay so I think we've talked about pretty much everything here. Uh, so what we will do now, uh, I don't see any question that we didn't answer so far. So what you can do is look at our website, uh, ecam.fr. So as I said, we have um, 3D visits of the campus that you can go uh, and you can do. So you can go through classes, through the cafeteria, through the residences. So that's pretty nice to have an ID of the campus. And you can also find all the information about the course, um, about the admission again. You can find the website to, uh, where to apply. You can find all the requirements. So just for you to know, you have to be a uh, maximum 23 years old in September to be able to apply for the first year. Um, you must not have uh, lived more than one year of interruption in your study um, to be able to apply. And uh, there is other thing that you should look at before considering applying. So go on these websites. Um, you'll find the, price, the prices again and information about housing and everything. So take some time to go there and we are of course available. So you can join us at admission at ecam.fr and you can find also our phone number if you wish on the website. We can also have a Skype session um, if you want to talk to us before applying and receive all the information needed. Uh, the students are also available. Kami is available yeah. on the chat that we have on the website. So if you also want to chat with her and ask her more questions, you can. Um, thank you for joining us for this live. You will find it so uh, on replay later. And uh, maybe before you can, before we stop, you can just uh, tell us in one word what you think of your experience so far at ECAM Lyon in this ECAM engineering program. Let's go one word. Uh, diverse. <laughs> Dynamic, dynamic, all right. Uh, innovative. <laughs> innovative, all right. <laughs> well, find more uh, about us on. You can also join us on Facebook if you didn't yet. On Instagram, we have a YouTube channel with a lot of videos uh, in English as well. So check it out, and uh, we'll wait for um, we'll wait for hearing from you later. Bye bye. 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 bye.